Is it anyone going to burn on Valentine? You don't go home, you know what's up, everybody? I'm a Valentine time. Yeah. I promise you I'm not an NPC. I promise you I'm not a robot. I promise you I'm not an AI. I promise you that. I promise you that right now. Um, Welcome to a face mask and chill with your girl on Valentine. Um, I just like... I don't know. I, I was looking at myself earlier in the mirror. Like, I had my wig on and everything. I was like, dang, you're so cute. I was like, so what are you going to do about it? I was like, nothing, I guess. And I was like, man, I feel like I should record myself, like, every day. Because I feel like I'll look back and I'll cherish these times where I was like, oh, I was so young. I should have just enjoyed being able to be in bed. I should have just enjoyed when I didn't have anything to do. Because I know there's going to be a point where I'm, like, so busy. And it's so, it's so wild because I'll be having these fears, like, what if everything stays the same and stagnant and da da da? But like seasons change and people always talk about that. And I know that I'm not someone that's like intentionally complacent anyways. Like I'm not someone who intentionally tries to live in a fear mindset or like is intentionally turning away from my dreams. It's not like I'm doing that. It's just that sometimes I need rest. Sometimes I'm going through shit where I just need to take a second and just be like, bro, like I'm freaking down bad right now. But like even through all that there's still like the fighter spirit of like you know what no i know i am gonna get up though i know i am gonna get up and i know that there is something out here for me i know there's someone out here for me i know that i'm blessed and i'm given something i know that i have something to give to the world i know i have something to give to people to inspire in people and i know i have something that's gonna get me up every day and i know that, that i'm gonna be a a worldwide creator and i'm gonna establish so many things that just make it easier for people to climb to the top and make it easier for people to have a better way of living and i know that i know that about myself i know that about my life and there's sometimes where I can get so frustrated because of where I am right now and the things that I don't have and the things that I want. And I see it so clear in my mind of the way that it could be and the way that it should be and the way that, the way that I feel that it should be and the way that I always thought that it should go and the way that it's not how I always thought that it would. And it can be so frustrating for me and it makes me so angry and it makes me feel tired. And I feel like recently I've been like hurting myself. Like the things I eat, they hurt me. Like I ate the cinnamon roll earlier. I've been having gut issues and I was literally throwing up yet yesterday like bile bile yo and literally dying because I hadn't had a coffee is that crazy <laughs> coffee head for real but like I I have been not taking the best care of me and it wasn't even that it was intentional it's just I have been stressed and it's kind of like, you know, I'm just not going to hop on my own case. I'm not going to hurt. I'm not going to hurt myself more for me having made mistakes and for me having being stressed. Like life is real, y'all. Everything is not all peaches and cream. Shit is not sweet out here all the time. It's not always cute. And y'all know I love being wholesome. Like if you if you watch me like wholesomeness, being warm, that's literally the goal of the channel. I want this to be like a warm space. But shit is not always sweet out here. Like, shit is scary. Life is real. People are not always very kind, not always very forgiving. People are not very uh, mindful all the time. You know what I mean? And it's real. It's real. Everything I've been through is real. Every every pain, every mistake, every regret, every time where I felt wronged, that was real. And that shit is not over. But um, that doesn't mean that I have to... <sighs> doesn't mean I have to live in such a wounded space constantly. And I think that's something that I want to, like, it's like when you know that it's like having a scar. And it's like, I know this hurt so bad. And it's like, it's almost healed. And it's like, I want to still move my arm, even though I know there's a scar. And even though that it might bleed a little bit if I move it. And it might tear a little bit if I move it, but I still want to move because I want to keep moving. I just want to keep moving and I don't want to feel stuck anymore. I'm tired of feeling stuck and I don't want to feel like I have zero control over my life. I don't want to feel like that anymore. I don't want to feel it. So whatever it's going to take for me to feel like I can do something, I can make something happen. It doesn't matter if I'm literally making one-off videos like this every day with zero edits whatsoever. Or like shitty thumbnails. No, hopefully not. I never had a shitty thumbnail. I don't want to do shitty thumbnails anymore. <laughs> I'm sick of that. But like, yeah, I want to keep doing this. And like, I want to just do something. Like, I every day is a chance. Like, that's something that just occurred to me. Like, I wrote it down. I was just like, yo, every day is a chance. Because I was watching this thing. 
and I was on Instagram and I love there's these like two or three pages where it's called like black girl magic um it's called like black people things or something like that and these pages are like so wholesome I just feel like warm and understood and it just feels like familiar and they just feel safe and I don't know I just really enjoy these wholesome black channels like I really love it um so there was this post about like um this man that died in the titanic and how um he literally oh my god i said literally <sighs> when he heard about the news that they hit the iceberg um He went to wake his wife and children. He put them on a lifeboat and he told them that he would see them in New York and to keep his coat because they would need it. And they ended up not getting on the lifeboat and he passed away. And at the end, it showed a picture of him and he was. He was only 25 and he already had a wife, two children, and he had a baby on the way and they named it after him. <laughs> and I just like looked at that picture. And I just thought about how, like, not everybody has, not everybody has, like, that chance still. <laughs> to try <laughs> isn't that crazy not everybody still has a chance to try anymore <laughs> oh my god i'm literally crying <laughs> uh, i literally saw this comment that was like i don't understand why people people cr cr post themselves crying on social media it's like the same thing as smiling it's just another emotion man <laughs> i'm sorry you're not comfortable with one of your emotions <laughs> it's a real thing it's a real thing. Emotions are real, man. Cause shit is not sweet out here all the time. Shit is not always sweet. But um. Anyways, y'all. <sighs> I just thought about how, like, man, not everybody has it has another day and another chance. Like, I don't really know. I can't remember what the Titanic was for. I can't remember if it was like a cruise ship, like a vacation type situation, or just like <sighs> I can't remember. But. <sighs> Man, like, people that have dreams and goals and things, like, they're thinking for it. They're like, okay, I want this for my life. And then something happens, like a plane accident or a freaking iceberg comes and just sinks the boat. And it just changes the whole trajectory of your life. So that woman had to take those children, still go have that baby and figure everything out from there. Like, imagine how much trauma. And I think, okay, so the baby that was had, his name was Joseph. And he was named after the man. And I think about people I know named Joseph. And I'm like, yes, I know it's from the Bible, but still. I'm thinking, I'm like, man, like, these are real people. So these people still could have had children themselves. And that you think about, like, who are these descendants and, like, how their lives might have ended up. And the way that that possibly impacted those lives. And it's just like, whoa, like, life is real. Like, there is no 2 plus 2 equals 8. Like, it's 2 plus 2 equals 4, and 4 plus 4 equals 8, man. Like, there is something that leads to every single thing, and there's always, like, a reason for that. And it's just so insane to think about, like, these relationships and the way that people had to choose to live from there and had to try to... Could you imagine trying to cope with that? Like, the things that people have had to deal with and go through. And it's just insane because I still have a chance every day to wake up and try something new. I can still pick up my phone and try something. I can still 
pick up my computer and try. I can try. I have literally an opportunity every single day to try something. To try something at all. It doesn't matter. It, 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 even, even if it sucks ass. Like, I can try, though. Like, and I've spent so much time not trying. I've spent so much time avoiding how I feel and not wanting people to see me in this light. Like, oh, I don't want people to see me in my natural hair because it's not, like, this long and it's not like this and I don't look like this yet and I still have acne and this, that, and the dirt. Like, no, see me. See me in every way that I am and hear me. Hear the things that I care about. Hear the things I have to say. Hear about what I want the world to be like. Just hear it. Because who knows when God's going to take me? I don't know. Nobody knows. You don't know. I might live to be 80. I might live to be 300. I might live till 3005 with Charles Gambino. And I might be his bae. <laughs> no, play, no, play, play. Ew, that, that, that just felt wrong. That felt disrespectful. I'm sorry. I take it back. I take it back. Cancel that. I denounce that. I rebuke that. <laughs> no, but <laughs> that just felt wrong. <laughs> I think he has like a family, so I apologize. That was not. Never mind. Um, but yeah, I could live to be three thousand <laughs> to the year three thousand five. Or, you know, God might take me tonight. You never know. You never know. And I would pray against it, of course, but man, if all I have right now is me, my phone, and my ideas, me this ring light, my ideas, me this little light right here, my ideas this little room that I'm so resentful of <laughs> and my ideas and my hopes like if this is all I have then at least I can give this to you at least I can give this to you look at this I'm holding this this the fact that I can hold this and do this is absolutely amazing it is amazing I'm literally looking at myself talking to you while I'm holding a face mask it's so casual People couldn't have imagined this like 70 years ago, but somebody did. Somebody talked about their thoughts, hopes, and dreams, and other people were like, yeah, I actually fuck with that. Mm, let's give it a go. They were like, yeah, cool. These people actually do this shit. How about y'all connect? Cool. Shit was happening. I don't even know how it happened. People were making it. They just made something shake because they had a dream and a goal. If you would have tried to explain to somebody 100 years ago how this works, they would think you're chatting shit. They'd be like, oh, you're fucking joking. You're joking. <laughs> but it's here. It's here. And it's like, man, people might, they can look at me and they say what they want. When I say I want to be a billionaire, I want to see the world just like filled with happiness, bubbles in the air, beautiful. People just kind, happy. And I want there to be a way for people to just not have to live so hard. Like, I don't want people to have to live so rough and live just these lives where they feel like they can't be themselves and live these lives where they don't ever live up to their full potential. I want to find ways to make it easier for people to connect with others in healthy spaces and reach their full potential in whatever ways that I can make that happen. And I want to reach my full potential. I want to reach my full potential, not the potential that somebody else thinks I can meet, but I'm talking about maxing out. On everything I want to do, every dream, every goal, everything I ever want to put my mind to, everything that I slightly am like, yo, I think this would be cool, maxing it out. I want to do that. I want to see what that looks like for me. <sighs> do y'all hear my stomach? <laughs> Whoa, what are you chatting on? What are you chatting about? <laughs> I want that. Every day is a chance. 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 I want God to keep that in my mind and keep that in my brain. Every day is a chance. Who am I to know? I don't know when. I don't know when God is going to say, Alma, thank you for keeping your head down and staying faithful. Here is your blessing. How? Why am I over here trying to decide that, oh, it has to be in two years? God might have had some for me yesterday, but he looked at the state of my consciousness and where I was keeping myself and where I was keeping my faith. And he probably knew, Alma, you know what? Your head is not in the right spot. If I gave you this $30 million right now, you would spend it on buying this car, buying this car, buying this car. When I need you to go ahead and invest in that that piece of um, commercial property and actually make that, that cafe happen. I can't have you buying your dad phantoms and buying every family member this and that. I can't have you doing that. I need you to invest that because it's something that is needed for the people and not just for you and, and what makes you feel good or what makes you feel good and the way that you help others, whatever. Like, maybe I don't need you to do that. Maybe I need you to have showed me that you're willing to give when you don't even have a lot. 
maybe God was waiting for me to show him that, hey, I will go and see every opportunity that you have for me. Like, I have two uh, job interviews coming up. And they're, like, back to back. All of a sudden, it's been weeks. Like, it's been months since I put in one of these applications. And then it's been, like, a month, maybe a month and a few weeks since I put in another one. And tell me why today I got a call from one and I got a call and I got an email from the other in the same day. Like when I tell you there is always an appointed time and there's something it's like I keep having to remind myself because I'll get in the thick of it and I'll get all frustrated and I'll get all scared and worried as if God hasn't blessed me before and has, as if God hasn't blessed me already and hasn't forgiven me and given me opportunity over opportunity again and again. Like even where I am now, I wouldn't be here unless God was so graceful and forgiving and, and move through someone else to give me the opportunity that I have. Even in my own stupidity, even in my own stupidity and, and my foolishness and my ignorance, God is still good and forgiving. Even me as I'm learning to not judge people and to be slower to judge and be slower to speak to my opinions and, and still figuring out the balance of like, hey, when do I actually still do speak my opinions and make sure that I am saying how I really feel versus when to know not to say what and when not to just still. God is good. Still, God has kept me alive on this earth. God could exit my existence out at any point. And yet, all of these tools that lie dormant here, the frustrations I feel, and yet I still have the blessing of having these little vision boards. I still have the blessing of like 10 different nail polish colors. I have my water. I have clean water. I'm able to clean myself every day. The The luxury of having a nice lotion and having a light, a nice face mask and I literally have a, a set of face masks the luxury of me having been able to paint what I've painted the luxury of having more than one mirror the luxury of having more than one tripod I have a guitar right there that I could go and get shrunk if I wanted to I have a, a brand new cricket mat that I still haven't opened yet because this inspiration hasn't struck me yet and the fact that I am literally blessed to have I have a jump rope I have a freaking two baskets of clothes like I it's these are still blessings, right? And even in my own stupidity, in my own stupidity, in my own foolishness of me over here, like, God, when are you going to level me up? When are you going to level me up, God? Well, you didn't do it yet, so I'm going to stay in bed. And I'm going to be sad. And I'm going to be worried. Hmm. Meanwhile, like I said, God could have had something for me two weeks ago. Could have had something for me two days ago. Could have had something for me next week. But where my head has been, where have I let, where have I allowed my head to be? Where have I allowed myself to be? What mindset have I been living in? I have been living in a state of waiting instead of preparation. Waiting instead of preparation. No, 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 not just waiting. There's something else. I've been in a state of frustration instead of preparation because I wasn't just waiting. Waiting would imply some patience, but that's not what this was. I've been in a state of frustration instead of patience because if I would have been in a state of waiting or a state of patience, then I would have been like, God, I understand. But instead I'm like, hmm, <laughs> all right y'all this has been a face mask and chill with the girl i'm on time good night i'm gonna go watch this off bye subscribe for more bye